Hi, Aza here. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a double exposure effect image using Adobe Photoshop. Here is the final output. First, we are going to create this cool double exposure face. Then we are going to create this cool wedding style double exposure. So without further ado, let's get started. First, close this like that. And let's open our base photo. Go to File, Open. Select the base photo. Unlock the background. Like that. We need to make a selection. The best way to select the object is Quick Selection. So go here and select Quick Selection. Move the size a bit bigger and start to select the model like that perfect and move it like that the good thing about the quick selection you have subtract options so go here and click on subtract mode and you can subtract from selection like that you can move it back like that some area in her face a bit here also subtract here we are good to go to have a better selection it's better to go to refine edge and play a bit refine edge a bit a smoother edge soften edge play with the contrast and a bit shift edge seven eight is okay and hit okay now to remove the model from the background go to layer mask perfect what i like to do to resize and move the model a bit like that move and rotate and it's more think perfect hit apply let's call it model Next, go to Adjustment Layer, click here, and select Solid Color. And select the white color. Hit OK. Rename it BG as a background. And move it to the... You're going to back to this layer later. Now select the Model Layer. We want to desaturate it. There is two options. You can go to Image, Adjustment, and select the desaturation. Or there's a shortcut. Press the Shift Control U all together. So press that. The photo desaturate. So no matter which way you choose, Photoshop desaturate instantly. Using desaturation command, certainly quick and painless. But the problem is, it's also permanent. So make sure you have a copy of your image. Now let's move on to our second image. Go to File open select the second image and click here and drag it here like that perfect what i like to do is to resize it and rotate it like that and resize it something like this okay a bit less I think it's perfect. Hit OK. Let's call it city. Type city here. OK. Let's change the blending mode here. If you'd like to know more about the blending mode, just click on the link above. Put the link on description too. One of the fastest way to get amazing looking image is by using blending modes. These blending modes change the way that the layer react to the layer underneath it. Using blending modes open up an entire new world. You can test and try different blending modes to get desired results. So you can select here and try different blending modes. For example, darken or early famous luminosity but what i like to do for this image is going to uh, select a lighter mode cool now is the time to work on background 
just click on the background layer. The soil color window is open. What I like to do is eyedropper tool. Select color from the image. Something like that. I think this one is perfect. Hit OK. To get better output, it's better to play with the color balance. Let's go to adjustment. Go here and open. You must be on top layer. The curves adjustment layer is the most powerful way to adjust the brightness and con contrast of your image. It gives you total control over photo. Knowing how to use curve is very crucial. It looks hard for a beginner, but, but when you learn and understand it, you get how useful for color and contrast control in Photoshop. There is a safe and easy way for beginner. You can go here on top, select from the curve preset. Normally it's set to default, but when you click on it, you have so many options. Increase contrast, medium contrast, or darker contrast. What I like to do for this image is strong contrast. Back to default and start to click here. When you drag the point to the up, you lighten the image. When you drag it to the down, you darken the image. Totally up to you. Let's back to preset and select the strong contrast. Perfect. Let's back to layer. Until now, the double exposure looks nice. But what I like to do to remove the edge the, on this area. So go here on model layer, select the layer mask, select the brush, select the foreground color black and start to brush here. Like that, remove the edge. It is good. It's perfect. What I like to do to raise some part of the city layer to show more of one of her eyes. Like that. A bit, not much. And here. I think it's so cool when you do that. Okay. We get a perfect result here. Let's move to another sample. Double exposure is perfect for wedding photo idea. Let's close this one and open our wedding photo. Go here and open wedding. Unlock the background and start to select the models. Something like that. Good and subtract from here okay this method is more easier than first method go create new layer and right click over image and select the fill select the foreground and double check the foreground color is black so foreground and foreground color black hit okay now press ctrl t and resize the image something like that a bit more thing and move it here i think it's a bit more and it's perfect hit okay and rename it model and rename the background to bg deselect it put the background on top like that right click on the background and select creating clipping mask cool move the photo to get the desired result i think this one is perfect next go here and create solid background go to adjustment solid color select the background white and move it to down the BG layer and Ctrl J. You have the copy of the background layer. Move the copy between the model layer and solid color. Move it here. Now go to blending mode and select the fine light blending. Perfect. 
What I like to do is play with the opacity. Doesn't get so sharp. I think is good. Perfect. For different image, blending moodies, sometimes light and work, sometimes a screen work. So play with the different blending mood to get the desired result. Okay. In this tutorial, we create two amazing double exposure. First one a bit advanced level, but the second one is more easy. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and subscribe.